Thank you for being part of evening prayer in Chesterfield Parish Church this afternoon. Reverend James is having a very well-deserved afternoon off, so you have to put up with me. And if you have not had enough of me, you may wish to put up with me again in the morning at half past eight, when as part of the Thy Kingdom Come prayer wave throughout the world, morning prayer will be taking place in here, and it will be uh, streamed throughout the Diocese of Derby. So we will be part of that diocesan cycle during the Thy Kingdom Come period. Tomorrow is, of course, also the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord, and there will be a Sun Mass here at 10 o'clock, also streamed, and you will have the joy of evening prayer once more with Reverend James tomorrow afternoon. As usual, we begin by remembering the resurrection of Christ and the role of Mary as a disciple and as the mother of the Lord. As we say in the tradition of prayer in so many places and also in this place, the Angelus. First, we ring nine bells and there will be nine bells halfway through. Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven, Alleluia! He whom thou was pleased to bear, Alleluia! As he promised, hath arisen, Alleluia! Pour for us to him thy prayer, Alleluia! Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia! For the Lord hath arisen indeed, Alleluia! and most merciful Father. We have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us miserable offenders, Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus you our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, and hath given power and commandments to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Therefore let us beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. God make speed to save us, O Lord make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Praise the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, thou art become exceeding glorious, thou art clothed with majesty and honour. Thou deckest thyself with light as it were with a garment, and spreadest out the heavens like a curtain. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, and maketh the clouds his chariot, and walketh upon the wings of the wind? He maketh his angels a spirit. And his ministers are flaming fire. He laid the foundations of the earth, that it never should move at any time. Thou coverest it with the deep, like as with a garment. The waters stand in the hills. At thy rebuke they flee. At the voice of thy thunder they are afraid. They go up as high as the hills and down to the valleys beneath. Even unto the place which thou hast appointed for them. Thou hast set them their bounds which they shall not pass, neither turn again to cover the earth. He sendeth the springs into the rivers, which run among the hills, or beasts of the field drink thereof. And the wild asses quench their thirst. Beside them shall the fowls of the air have their habitation, and sing among the branches. He watereth the hills from above. The earth is filled with the fruit of thy works. He bringeth forth grass for the cattle, and green herb for the service of men, that he may bring food out of the earth, and wine that maketh glad the heart of man and oil to make him a cheerful countenance, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord also are full of sap. Even the cedars of Lydonus, which he hath planted, wherein the birds make their nests. And the fir trees are a dwelling for the stork, the high hills are a refuge for the wild goats, and so are the stony rocks for the conies. He appointed the moon for certain seasons, and the sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest darkness that it may be night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do move. The lions roaring after their prey, do seek their meat from God. The sun ariseth, and they get them away together, and lay them down in their den. Man goeth forth to his work and to his labour until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works! In wisdom hast thou made them all, the earth is full of thy riches. So 
So is the great and wide sea also. Wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts? There go the ships, and there is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to take his pastime therein. These wait all upon thee, that thou mayest give them meat in due season. When thou givest it them, they gather it. And when thou openest thy hands, they are filled with good. When thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. When thou takest away their breath, they die and are turned again to their dust. When thou lettest thy breath go forth, they shall be made. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. The glorious majesty of the Lord shall endure for ever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. The earth shall tremble at the look of him. If he do but touch the hills, they shall smoke. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being. And so shall my words please him. My joy shall be in the Lord. As for sinners, they shall be consumed out of the earth, and the ungodly shall come to an end. Praise thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second book of Samuel, the 23rd chapter, and the first verse. Now these be the last words of David. David, the son of Jesse, said unto the man who was raised up on high, the anointed of the God of Jacob and the sweet psalmist of Israel, said, The Spirit of the Lord spake by me, and his word was in my tongue. The God of Israel said, The rock of Israel spake to me, He that ruleth over men must be just, ruling in the fear of God. And he shall be as the light of the morning, when the sun riseth, even a morning without clouds, as the tender grass springing out of the earth by clear shining after rain. Although my house be not so with God, yet he hath made with me an everlasting covenant, ordered in all things and sure. For this is all my salvation and all my desire, although he make it not. My soul doth magnify the Lord. My spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath opened his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Epistle of St. Paul to the Colossians, the second chapter, and the twentieth verse. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of this world, why, as though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances? Touch not, taste not, 
candle pot, which all are to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrines of men. Which things have indeed a show of wisdom in will, worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honour to the satisfying of the flesh. If then ye be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth, for ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Here ends the second lesson. Lord, now let us now thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and never shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. mercy upon us. Christ have mercy upon us. Lord have mercy upon us. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, Bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Lord, from whom all good things do come, grant to us thy humble servants that by thy holy inspiration we may think those things that be good, and by thy merciful guiding may perform the same, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being dependent from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Thy 
light and our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost, be with us all.